Well, welcome back to Contrastly. My name's Simon Plant, and today we're going to be looking at split toning. So this is our image. It was actually um, shot a long, long time ago on film, if you remember what that is. And uh, it's got quite a nice, soft, pastely effect to it, um, with a bit of, bit of grain, which is, I think, really adds to the effect. But I want to add a little bit more colour to the picture. And this is what this video is going to show you today. It's a very short but quite powerful tip of how to add colour into the image, which is many ways to do that, as you probably know. But then we're going to add a bit of a twist to it by using the blend if sliders to remove uh, the colour from certain parts of the image to give us a bit more of a split toned effect. Now, split toning literally just means to be able to tone certain parts, either maybe the highlights or the shadows, and leave uh, the other area um, relatively untouched. Now, there's a few ways we can do this. One of my favourite ways of doing it is using, or colouring that is, is using curves. Um, using curves um, in the uh, one of the channels gives us that, that control. Let, let me show you how. What I want to do with this image is just add maybe a little bit of warmth, um, maybe a little bit more red into the lighter area areas i.e. the sky but I don't really want to affect the water or these lovely blues so to do that using channels or the curve sorry we can go down to the red channel and I'm just going to raise the curve up here to add a little bit more red and then I'm going to go down to the blue channel and maybe just lower this end of the curve down and that as you can see is adding quite a bit of warmth to our image if you want to take it away from some of these cooler tones, we can just literally add a control point on the lower portion of the curve, which affects the mid-tones and the shadows. And that, if you see me dragging it up, that takes away the effect from that area a little bit. Same on the red. If we add a control point around there on the curves and start dragging that down, you can see the riverbank and the water now going back more neutral to where it, where it was before it started but it's still affecting the lighter areas that's that's one very easy way of uh, of split toning but if we want to go a step further there is another way which is slightly more should we say hidden um but it's still very very powerful you can use this technique on other things apart from just split toning uh, the colors of your image Okay, so let me just uh, delete that adjustment. Um, I'm going to use curves again. As I said, there's, there's loads of ways of colouring images, and I'm not going to waste your time on this video showing you. Uh, but there's colour balance, and uh, there's also these uh, colour color lookup, uh, which are quite interesting. And uh, they're like presets. They're for CGI, I believe, uh, effects in Photoshop. But you can use them for colouring your images as well. So check those out. But let's just keep it simple. I'm just going to go to my... Um, curves again and I'm going to add the same type of effect just very quickly but I'm just going to apply it to the whole image this time uh, red and uh, bring the blues down that adds a bit of warmth to there I might just have a look at the green as well just to see if I can add a bit of magenta so let's uh, let's leave it like that. That's a bit too strong for what I want, but it, it'll help for demonstration purposes. So there's our colour adjustment. So let's say that I'm really pleased with the effect in the highlights here. Now, at this stage, we could get a brush and start painting away the effect on other areas. And in this image, that probably would be quite simple. But this is just a demonstration image. So, But the other way of controlling this is to double-click on the side of the layer and bring up the layer styles and on here there's quite a big dialog box so I don't want to cover the whole image if I can help it so I'll just try and drag it across there so and under here you've got these blend if uh, sliders at the bottom and you can either adjust the uh, the layer in question which is called this layer or the layer underneath for this purpose we're just going to try and use the uh, the top slider here which is this layer and this represents uh, black to white on these slide sliders. It goes from 0 to 255 in the highlights. What we want to do is remove the effect in some of these darker tones and some of the mid-tones if we can. And we can do that very simply by just sliding this slider towards the highlights. And if you watch the image, certainly down here in the darker areas, you can see some of the colors are changing. 
Now, at the moment, the colours are changing in a very rapid, very clunky way. It's very, very, um, very, very obvious. To smooth that out and create a nice transition, we just need to Alt or Option click on that slider, which splits it. And this now will help us make a nice transition from those darker areas towards the lighter areas. So I'm just dragging this now. And you can see slowly, if you look at this area, slowly... I'm taking that effect away and somewhere around there is looking pretty good so we've still got that effect in the highlights here but we've taken it away from the shadows so there's before and after you can see the color is, is just in those lighter areas and likewise we could do the same again by going back in let's reset that let's say we wanted a little bit more warmth in the shadows for, for whatever reason we can do the opposite. We can drag the highlights down. You can see those coming back now in the sky here. Alter option click to uh, make a better graduation. And you could gradually take that out of the highlights. But uh, leaving it more in the shadows and midtones. Um, not a successful on this image because I didn't really obviously tone for that originally but um, it's, it's you get the idea you can obviously got control over the shadows and the highlights and another good use for this and uh, one that I use uh, quite a lot if you've got an image say of this tree uh, for instance and you want to put it into another backdrop background you could go in and use the channels and various other masking tools to mask it uh, away from that white sky but we can also use the blend if sliders again um, and we can just drop out some of those whites and you can see very quickly that disappears um, and that can often get you if not get you completely where you want to go it can certainly get you a fair way um, so uh, lots and lots of uses uh, for the blend if sliders I use them a hell of a lot um, and I am you know advise you to go and explore them that bit further so I hope you enjoyed this very quick video and uh, I hope to catch you on the next one cheers for watching